Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So friends, this is week 4 programming assignment of problem solving through programming in C course. I have already made a video on quiz assessment for this week. So you can refer that. And before that, please watch the video till the end because uh, in between the video, I will show the code. So if you skip the content, you may miss that uh, useful information. So please watch. Uh, the video till the end and now I'm going to show you the first code actually the question is write a C program to find the smallest number among three numbers using nested if else so now I will show you a code please note it down here itself so this is the one this is first question code so from here to here you copy this I mean uh, pass the video here itself and note this down even this single full stop is also very important because according to that only the compiler takes the input uh, or prints the output so each and every uh, character will be counted towards the output so please uh, note it down here itself without single mistake so I will show you in the compiler how it works Hope you have noted it down or you can take a screenshot here itself. <coughs> so I am going to the interface of the compiler. So here I am going to paste it here. Once again I will zoom this for you. So friends, this is the code you have to uh, type. I am zooming back now. So let's see what happens. I am clicking compile and run. So if you see this, the compilation, there are two public test cases and two by two passed. Here you can see the status is passed. So let's see the private test cases by clicking on submit button. So the private test cases, there are two private test cases and those two are passed. So our solution is 100% correct. So let's move on to the second programming assignment. So the second programming assignment, it is about uh, writing a program to find the factorial of a given function using while loop. So, I will show you the second code and you can pass the video. This is the first code. This is the second code. Yes, this is the second code. So, you can copy this from here to here. Guys, uh, take screenshot here only because uh, this notepad screen is clear uh, to understand rather than the compiler interface. So, note it down here itself or you can take screenshot by passing the video now I am going to show you on the compiler I am leaving this page so I am pasting it here again I will zoom this for you so this is the code you have to type So this is the code. So now I am zooming back. So let's see the compilation whether they pass or not. So you, if you see the public test, test cases 2 by 2 pass. The status is showing pass. So let's see the private test case execution whether they passed or not by clicking on submit button. So you can see the private test cases, there is only one private test case and that is also showing passed. So our solution is 100% correct. Let's move on to the third programming assignment of week 4. So this is third programming assignment question regarding week 4. We have to write a program to find sum of all even numbers from 1 to n where value of n is taken as input. So I will show you the third code. 
so friends this is the third code so copy from here to here so friends uh, note it down or take screenshot i will uh, wait uh, approximately 5 seconds so hope you note noted that down so i will show you on the compiler now compiler interface so i will zoom this for you once again so friends this is the code note it down or you can take a screenshot so i am zooming back so let's see whether it works or not clicking on compile and run button so if you can see that the compilation is passed 2 by 2 test cases public test cases are passed here the status showing passed i am going to submit this so there are two private test cases two test cases private test cases and status is passed so our solution is exactly correct and let's move on to the fourth programming assignment so fourth programming assignment write a c code to calculate the sum of first and the last digit of a given number so i will show you the fourth question code this is third question code and let's move on to fourth one so friends this is the fourth question code remaining code they have given we have to fill uh, the partial code that is the task so this is the partial code we have to give to the compiler so note it down everything is already given we have to just fill the space with uh, this small code segment so i have copied this and I am going to paste it uh, on the compiler interface so hope you noted it down I am moving on to the interface of the compiler so I am pasting it here I will zoom this again for you so this is the this is the code which you have to uh, execute guys please uh, check each and every letter because it is case sensitive language c language so you have to uh, type exactly what is given so in the last digit uh, variable the cap it should be capital l and also there should be underscore it is not a minus symbol it is underscore and the digit should be the d is small and n also is small uh, i mean capital so please uh, mark each and every variable exactly in the way they have given in the question so i am zooming back so let's see what happens i am clicking on compile and run button so if you see the public test cases 2 by 2 passed so the status you can see that so let's see the submission uh, how the private test cases works So here you can see the private test cases to both are passed. So our solution is 100% correct. So friends these are the solution for week 4 programming assignments of problem solving through programming in C course. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends. Uh, keep supporting me like this. So for quiz solutions I have already uploaded a video. Uh, please uh, you can view that so keep supporting me like this uh, share this video to your friends so that uh, it will be a great reach to all of uh, them who are sub who are doing this course and also for other courses and for upcoming videos please keep supporting me so until then goodbye thank you